you have more on the weather later on. But today we are heading to Bugglebot. So why is that? Well, we're getting to see and maybe even try out. Who knows? I might be able to test one of the robots, but it's basically live robots mm. fighting each other. That's so good. That's yeah. Robot Wars, essentially Robot Wars. Yeah. Uh, I'm a dream growing up, so you're <laughs> going to be the lucky one here. Bugglebots is a new web series coming this December in Hymere with the director of it all. And we're actually standing in front of some 3D printers that go hand in hand with, of course, the robots. Tell me a little bit about the web series, Bugglebots. That's right. So um, earlier this year, uh, the BBC cancelled Robot Wars, which was a very fun show to me and many of uh, my friends and other keen roboteers along the country. So we decided uh, we needed to keep the, the ball rolling, so we wanted to make our own show. So people from all over Europe and even America have travelled to Bristol uh, a couple of months ago to film this web series, 30 teams, um, and uh, they battled it out with an audience and uh, now we're going to put it out on YouTube in December. We're looking forward to it. So what does a typical battle entail? Is it, is it really rough? Is it, I mean, if people have gone into so many lengths trying to make these robots, I'm sure they wouldn't want them to get destroyed. Well, yeah, it's a really weird sport because you sort of decide, you know, I'm going to put hours and hours into this creation and then it could be over in a minute. Um, that's actually quite typical and particularly in the weight class we're fighting in. Uh, the fights tend to last about a minute, uh, but in that minute there's carnage. Uh, robots hit the ceiling, we have a pit with, uh, which uh, things fall into uh, and bits go flying everywhere. It's uh, pretty scary if you're near the arena to be honest. So what kind of audience were you looking to draw in with this new web series? So we're quite focused on encouraging kids into STEM, into science, technology, engineering and maths. Uh, and we think robot combat is a really great way because you, uh, you learn about electronics, you learn about designing, you learn things like 3D printing. Um, so we want to get kids hyped about building and being tinkers, tinkerers. So uh, we had a massive amount of kids in the audience, which was really great to see. And there were loads of girls too. We're trying to inspire more girls into this area. And it was actually a really good turnout for girls as well. <laughs> now, I may not be the next Bugglebot champion, but I am speaking to one of the competitors. Chris is a robot creator as well as robot driver. He's doing a lot better than I am right now, and he's going to tell me a little bit more about the web series Bugglebots. I was lucky enough to get the chance to take the reins on a robot called Zero Gravitas, which is known in the ring as a control bot. So it uses its big mouth with these lovely titanium teeth to grab onto the competitors and then it can shove them around. And there's hazards in the arena, there's a pit, you can throw things into a wall until they break. That was the general idea. By day, Chris is a data analyst, but by night he goes to workshops, uses 3D printers and fights his creations in robot battles. We build these machines when we meet up once every six to eight weeks and we smash them and then we do it all again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess you can't grow too yeah. attached to the robot if you no. know that it might get smashed no, by I, the end of the fight. No, I made that mistake with the first version of my little ant right yeah. here. Where oh, this it, one's cute. Yeah, so it's just a little flipper. Um, that's the ant weight class, this is the beta weight class. So my first ant weight I got really emotionally attached to and then it got absolutely destroyed. My first step to becoming a roboteer was learning the controls. You've got your backwards, you've got your side, and side. After that, I had to learn how to attack. It, it's got a little bit of bite to it. It has really a bite. So can it, it moves as fast as you move the stick, so if you want to properly <laughs> whack something with it, you can. <laughs> so if this ran into another robot and bit down on it, it could, it could do some damage, couldn't it? Once I learned how to move the robot, it was time for me to have a go against one of the smaller bots, which surprisingly I still had no chance against. Bugglebots Bristol, the robot fighting web series features referees, judges, hosts, and of course robots, and will be coming to YouTube screens this December. Joe is our friendly face for today, and Joe is a director of a new web series called Bugglebots. What do you like about your job? Well, I love that I can go and see people make amazing things. Uh, people spend hours of you know, blood, sweat, and tears making these amazing creations and destroying them for our entertainment. And I get to witness all of that and uh, see all these people 
having fun causing chaos. It's amazing. It should be out in December, that's the plan. So sometime in December on YouTube, uh, just search Bugglebots. Uh, we'll have it out there for you. About half an hour long episode, six episodes, it should be awesome. It's super crucial. We've got a deficit of engineers in this country. We need more people just, uh, just tinkering and trying this stuff out. We need more people doing electronic engineering particularly, which is my area of interest. And um, yeah, I, particularly when we give the kids a go, driving these robots, you see their eyes light up. They're so excited. And I think this is a really great way of inspiring them into this sort of area.